navigating the mic and also attending a question. So if anybody wants to begin with the first question. Or I can start here with Ryan. Um, obviously, another season going in with the Vancouver Whitecaps. Seems like every year you guys um, are always tipped to be the team to kind of shock uh, MLS fans and kind of go on a run each year. You know, for you personally going into this year, what are your personal goals and what do you think the team goals are um, heading into this new season? Um, I think the the minimum expectation for the team is to to get to the playoffs. Um, I think it was quite disappointing the year we had last year and. Um, the fact that you know, with like five or six games left, we were almost already out of it. So um, we're looking to to put that right this year and hopefully get off to a good start to to get us going. And you know, like you said, with those five or six games to kind of make that last playoff spot or the last few playoff spots, what does that say about the level of competition in MLS and just kind of how cutthroat those those playoff positions can be when it comes down to the wire? Yeah. Um, so I've been here for the end of two seasons and. Uh, both years it's been um, going down to the last couple of games it could be any one of four or five teams getting the last place so um, you know hopefully we can we can go on a good run um, on a good run of games and make sure that we're we're in there before before it's too late all right so we'll bring it over here to Alex Hi, Ryan. Alex Morgan from Quake's Epicenter. I'm wondering what you think the strengths of Vancouver are this year, and, and what are some weaknesses from last year that you guys need to uh, improve on in order to make the playoffs this year? Um, I think, first and foremost, we're a, we're a hard-working team um, full of guys who are, who are willing to fight for each other. And, um, you know, in terms of things we need to improve on this year is, um, you know, our defensive record wasn't great last year. Um, so I think first thing is, you know, making sure we don't concede as many goals and, um, and then the, you look at our away form and we were pretty poor on the, on the road last year. So, um, we need to be more consistent in our away performances and, and try and take more points to give us a better chance of reaching the playoffs. Any other questions for Ryan? Bring it back here. Uh, Robert Jonas with the Quakes Epicenter. Uh, you mentioned how these last two seasons, uh, you know, differed. You you had a playoff uh, run, a very exciting run at the end of the season, and then last season, uh, the disappointment. You know, a constant for both of those has been your coach. You know, a coach who, by all appearances, you know, is uh, you know, has not just you know the tactical ability, but also kind of an emotional appeal. You know, he seems to really kind of you know, get the team excited. How important has he been and what have been the messages so far he shared with you going into this season in terms of setting up expectations? I think he, he's been, uh, Vanny's been really important in getting everyone together and getting everyone to fight for each other. Um, I think he was a big reason why we made the playoffs in 2021. Um, and again, a big reason how we managed to, to beat Toronto in the final of the cup. So. Um, like you said, he's he's a bit of a character. He's he's good to have around the training ground, and um, he just gets everyone f uh, going in the same direction. And um, you know, at the the later part of the year when we kind of changed things tactically, um, things went much better for us. So um, he's got that tactical awareness as well of um, you know when to when to change the team, when we need to play four at the back, three at the back. So. Um, hopefully, you know, he can guide us into the playoffs this year. Uh, and as a follow-up, you mentioned the uh, the championship, you know, winning the Canadian Cup, which gives you the opportunity to participate in the Champions League. You know, that's got to be a big part of your, your setup this, uh, this winter going into spring. Um, we saw a United States team win it last year, first U.S. team to win it. Uh, what would it be like uh, to see the first, to be the first Canadian team to win that championship? Yeah, I mean, obviously that's the the big objective for um, for us at the beginning of the year. We're in uh, four competitions now with the League's Cup as well, so uh, we want to go as far as we can in, in each competition, but looking at the, the Champions League, uh, we know how hard it's going to be. Um, We've seen how tough it was for Seattle last year, but they managed to uh, to win the trophy, and they kind of proved that 
you know the MLS teams are capable of winning it. So we're we're obviously going to take it game by game, but um, you know every every game we'll we'll be looking to play positive football, get good results, and then see how far we can get. And who knows if we can end up winning it, then it'd be brilliant. Any final questions for Ryan? All right, awesome. Well, Ryan, thank you for your time. Thank Appreciate you. it. Let you get back to the other stations. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you.